Okay, so I saw this video made by Motion Design School and I was curious how to make this rolling cube thing. So I found this video on YouTube by Doc 3 d but honestly, this approach no offense, is quite stupid. Uh, what if I wanted to use a different shape? I would need to add like 20 anchor points and that would take just ages. So I came up with my approach using geometry nodes, of course. By the way, thank you for 1,140 subs, I'm, I really appreciate it. Let's get straight to the tutorial. As always, the idea is very, very simple, very straightforward. We'll just rotate our object, after that we will move it, but if we want to roll different shapes, we need to get somehow the circuit uh, and use some math, of course. In the end, we will move the object up based on the, based on the lowest point in the geometry, and that's all. Okay. So I have my default cube here. Let's add a new geo nodes setup. And as I said in the beginning, we want to rotate our object first. I think the easiest way to do that is to turn it into an instance and rotate the instance itself. I want my shape to roll on the Y axis so we will rotate it around its X. Let's take this X so we can change the value outside of the geometry nodes. Now we need to multiply it by 2 pi and this way we get the full 360 degree rotation by setting this to a round number. Now we need to make this shape move. Let's realize the instance and add the set position node. How can we get the mesh circle? The solution is quite easy. Just scale the instance down to zero uh, on the X axis. Realize that so we can do something more with it. Merge everything by distance to avoid overlapping geometry and use the convex hole to get a clear outer shape. Uh, and the last thing would be to turn it into a curve and now we can get the curve length. And that's our circuit value. We need to multiply it our move value with this curve length and multiply it again by minus one. And this way we get this thing moving correctly. The last thing would be to align align the mesh to the floor level somehow. So let's add the set position node and attribute statistic node. We'll check the lowest point of the mesh. So separate the position into X, Y and Z and use the Z as an attribute. Now just take the minimum value and plug it into the Z. Like that. Our object went down so we need to get the absolute value of the, of the Z and now it works. Okay so Basically, that's all for this tutorial. Uh, of course, you can improve this setup, but I really wanted to make this video, keep this video very simple, quick and straightforward. So yeah, that's all. Have a good day and bye.